We have been told that Shiba Inus are tough to train, independent, stubborn, difficult, and all of that is true. They are not an easy uh, people pleaser, lap or shadow dog, and rarely turn out to be this way. And I told you before that I hesitated a lot before getting a Shiba Inu myself. I had a mountain of questions and doubts, especially in regards to my personality and lifestyle. And I was not 100% sure if I was a good fit with the breed. Also, me being a first time dog owner put an extra layer of doubts as well. Um, and there's a bunch of different reasons why Shiba Inus are not for everyone. And today I am sharing three reasons of my own based on my experience with Aoki. So get your notepad and let's dive right in. Everybody tells you that Shiba Inus need a lot of training and exercise, but you never fully understand it before you actually experience it firsthand. And that was 100% my case. Baby Aoki needed daily training and still does today. Shiba Inus require constant and consistent training. I've mentioned that before in our training videos and it is very true. It will take constant repeating, constant training, getting to know your Shiba so that your training is efficient. But before talking about training, there's also the fact that Shiba Inus need mental and physical exercise. All of that wrapped up makes them very needy. And of course, different breeds also need training and exercise and mental stimulation. But Shiba Inus are very particular in terms of training. And I'm sure that you've seen that before. If you're interested in getting a Shiba Inu, it has been said and said that they do need and you need to clock in their training and this is not just for the first few months it is a constant work throughout their first years and also i'm sure past that stage as well something else to keep in mind is continued socialization i do things that are outside our routine and comfort zone like meeting new people new dogs as well as doing activities in different situations you know that i bring aoki shopping once in a while and i take him into new places which contributes to his training as well shiba inus are needy and there is no way around it it takes a lot of time and sometimes a change of lifestyle to accommodate your pup especially if you're raising them alone i think that getting a puppy with someone makes things much easier on several aspects like time logistics budget etc that said it isn't a requirement also if you're truly ready and can logistically accommodate having a pup in your house in your daily routine and life then it gets easier you just need to do the work moving on to the second reason to why you should not get a shiba inu is that they are expensive the breed itself is getting a lot of love people are looking to get shiba inus meaning that the market is there meaning that the breed is pricey shiba inus range from three to five thousand canadian dollars and on top of that you need to consider vet bills food toys accessories all the basic shoppings you need to do and also all the regular stuff you need to buy on a monthly basis like poo bags or wipes etc on top of that i'm not even done there's the toys that your dog will be destroying especially shiba inus they are very very smart and they know their way so sometimes they just destroy their toys i know that boba is not like that but my neighbor who has a shiba is like aoki they just destroy their toys and they love it 
the three things that I find the most expensive for Aoki are first his puzzles, which he uses on the daily. It's just that each of them is quite pricey. I would say one would be around 30 to 40 dollars Canadian, um, but it is worth the investment because he loves them he uses them every day when i need to do my meetings when i need to leave the house for a few hours i just leave him with a puzzle the second item would be the toys in general the ratio of destroy toys in my house is quite high i think it's one to two toys and it's heartbreaking to see a toy that you just bought being shredded or torn apart in just 10 minutes but it's just the name of the game. I need to invest in super chua toys that are also pricey. So that is something you need to keep in mind and account that in your budget. The last item would be bones and chew sticks. Um, again, he loves to chew, he loves to munch. So those go really quickly. And yes, it might be just a few dollars for one bone or one stick, but when you add them up on the weekly, the bill just rises quite easily. So again, put that down in your budget. As you may know, Shiba Inus originally come from Japan and are the most closely Eurasian dog related to wolves. Back in the days, they were bred as small prey hunting dogs compared to pets. Um, and even though their popularity is still on the rise, Shiba Inus remain primitive dogs, which makes their characteristics very particular. They are known to be independent, very much like cats, which is why people say that they are very difficult to train. But if you know this channel, if you know me already, I always say they are easy to train, but it takes consistent work and a lot of patience to continue their training so that they listen to you and you build that bond between you and them. They learn super quickly. I remember Aoki learned sit in under 24 hours. I remember he learned around 10 tricks, which is amazing for a eight to nine weeks old puppy. That said, they will test your limits. They will push your buttons and your patience will take a toll for sure. It will take time for you to understand your pup. But before anything else, before getting a Shiba Inu, reflect on your own personality, your character, and see if there's a fit between you and the breed because more than often people get a certain breed they love, but then there's no fit in terms of their character, their lifestyle, etc. And something that really helped me in my decision is very old school, just take a pen and paper, make two columns, pros, cons, and just list everything down. And I mean it, everything, the little details, everything you can think about, just jot it down on paper so that you can evaluate your own options. Aoki is one of the best things that happened in my life. I'm super grateful for him. He is a handful sometimes, but hey, I knew that I was ready for the work. He brings me so much joy. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. If you have a Shiba, let me know if your experience is similar to mine. I'd love to know. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Thank you all for watching and see you all next time. Bye!